Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our evening webinar or morning webinar, depending where you are in the world. I'm Dmitry Stern, your today's host. And today we're going to cover a very interesting topic. We're going to cover the guru business model. As promised in our emails and promotional materials, um, we have a very interesting and accomplished speaker and business operator who I'll introduce very shortly. We're going to cover the myth and reality of the guru business model. Um, the reason why people are interested in the guru business model is that number one reason, lifestyle. We all wanted to attain a good lifestyle whereby you work when you wanted to, you do what you like, you make money, you are able to travel, you are able to spend the time with the loved ones. Would that be right? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, would you mind showing hands? You know, click on your tool and show me the hands that you can all see the screen and hear the voice. So just to check um, that technical stuff is all in order. Thank you, Rick. Um, thank you, Dale. Good on you guys. Thank you so much. Now, if you have questions, please do type them in the question panel. When we have time towards the end, um, we will answer them or attempt to answer all of them. Um, can I invite you all now to lower your hands, virtual hands? Thank you so much. I'm glad that we have no technical issues just yet. Thank you, guys. All right. So back to um, my short introduction. So lifestyle. We all wanted to attain it. Hopefully today's webinar will give you some information, some pointers, some good ideas how to attain your idea of the lifestyle. Right? So the other reason why uh, it's worthwhile looking at the guru business model is that it gives you an ultimate leverage. Right? Let's say that you are good at some area in some business um, and you can continue to develop this business but there is more leverage if you franchise this business, right? So we all know that, nothing new, uh, but there is also a higher degree of leverage if you teach others how to do the same business or become a guru of your niche, of your market, um, and teach others how to be successful, providing that you have been successful yourself utilizing the same tools. So congruency is quite a big, um, I guess, issue. Right, so, um, and see, ultimately what we want, we want to outsmart, outperform competitors in this business model and make them look like this. Right. <laughs> so hopefully today we'll give you some ideas how to attain this goal. And so without any further ado, I'd like to introduce our speaker uh, and good friend of mine, um, Leon J. Uh, Leon J has started his software business a while back and he made a lot of mistakes, all possible mistakes under the sun. He managed to attain a very profitable, very successful business with a lifestyle that allows him to travel, allows him to live where he wanted to live. He is a true citizen of the world. Now he is in Thailand. He was in Nelson in New Zealand before. So he's going to teach you how, how he avoided the mistakes, how he made the mistake, how you can avoid the mistakes, and also will share his views on the leverage of the Guru business. So without any further ado, I'll um, give controls over to Leon. Awesome. Um, okay, so let me just um, try and flick over and... Hopefully, can you tell me, um, there we go, that should be, should be showing now? Can you just uh, give me a confirmation that you are now seeing my screen? Yes, we can see your screen, Leon, please. Awesome, go. excellent, okay. In which case, um, then I want to begin this presentation. So. As as Dimitri um, rightly said, I've uh, oop, try and I've got too much of um, my go-to webinar showing here. Let me just close this down a second. 
Um, so basically, as Dimitri was explaining, I have found myself in the uh, teaching information business. I prefer that than the um, the guru model. Now, I, I, again, I don't like the term guru, but I think it's extremely applicable to the world that we currently live in. And it simply is just really about somebody who is become a master or an authority um, and has gained a credibility within a particular niche that they are working in. And so this can be applied to any industry. I mean, we talk about gurus a lot inside of uh, the spiritual industry, and we talk about gurus a lot with inside of the internet marketing industry. But really, it can be applied to any specific niche. And the more obscure the niche, the the easier it is to become a, a guru in that industry. So let's just have a look through. Um, the, the title of my presentation here, as you can see, is Do Less Work, Make More Money. The reason for that is just simply that was the title of my book. Uh, that was the first book that, that I wrote, and that was the, the book that helped me gain a lot of credibility and get a lot of attention from other people within my industry. And it should be noted that you know the, the internet marketing and the make money online industry is pretty competitive. So you have to do something to try and stand out. Now, if I just show you the next slide here, most gurus, I guess, start their presentations by showing you the nice house that they've got. They show you the lifestyle you know, the, the fancy clothes, the fancy cars, the fancy houses, the fancy holidays. And yet I'm starting my presentation with a broken truck. And so the question here for many of you might be, uh, what has this got to do with making a lot of money? Well, the answer is quite simple. That huge, great big dent that you see in the side of the car was made by my motorbike not too long back. Um, I mean, it's, it's a few months back now, but basically what happened was that this woman pulled in front of me. I smashed into the side of her car um, going at pretty high speed and came off my bike and was basically unable to walk for several weeks. Now, what that meant to me was that I had the realization that the business that I had created was creating passive income because if that had happened to me a few years back, I would have been in deep trouble. And what I realized was that even a lot of my friends in the internet marketing industry and the online businesses or business owners, had they been in the same position as me, they too would have been in trouble because the business relied on them so heavily. But I was really fortunate that when this accident happened to me, I was actually able to take the time out and write another book. And I didn't have any stress, I didn't have any worry, my business carried on without me. And that to me was far more important than any of the fancy toys that I'd been able to buy before. That was the point to me where I realized that I'd actually created passive income, not just um, a cash injection, not just some wealth, not just some material items, or not just uh, created a business. I'd actually created something that was able to run independently of me. And I think that is what we're all trying to really do, is to be able to be involved in the business when we want to, but be able to step aside from it and allow it to run when we need to or when we choose to take time out. So what is your goal? And this is what I want to ask you here. Before we get going, it's really good to, to get clear about what it is that you're trying to achieve. And then you can put everything else into the context to that. So is your, is your goal to get home from work? Is your goal to create a job for yourself? I mean, the first one, of course, is the nine to five employee. Most people sit at home at their desk waiting to try and get home. And if they try to get out of that, then maybe they become self-employed. And what they ended up doing is creating um, or moving from a nine to five to seven to 11. Basically, they end up working a lot longer and a lot harder and really uh, with a lot less benefits. If you if you become sick or if you have an accident like I just explained there, uh, you're in trouble because basically you are the business. Are you trying to create a short-term cash injection? And again, I see this a lot of the time with people running around the internet looking for the next shiny object, looking for the next miracle button to press. And really what they're trying to do is find a quick cash injection because really they're just short on cash right now. 
And sometimes there's nothing wrong in that necessarily. Um, sometimes we all need just a you know a quick boost of cash, but we need to be very very clear on the difference between a cash injection and a long-term sustainable business, and certainly the difference between a cash injection and passive income. So again, what we want to be doing is looking for that reoccurring income. Are you looking to build passive income? And again, this is obviously the purpose of this particular presentation is to look at exactly how we can do that. And then finally, another objective may be to simply create an asset to sell. And again, this is something that I think is, is a, definitely a worthwhile endeavor, that is to build a business that you can then actually sell. And you know, not all of us want to stay in the business forever, so having a get out clause or a, a get out strategy is, uh, very, is very highly recommended. So we'll have a look at how to do that too. Now, I'm going to ask you, what do all of these people have in common? I mean, you should recognize most of these people, maybe not all of them. Um, you know, we've got Robert Kiyosaki, Sandy Forster, T. Harv Eker, Anthony Robbins, uh, Deepak Chopra, and John Gray. Now, all of these have created massive wealth for themselves. They've all created businesses from information. They've all started out uh, in their different niches. I mean, obviously, we've got Robert, who was uh, very into investing and looking at the business uh, as, a, as, a, as a wealth strategy. Sandy Forster, Anthony Robbins, both in the personal development niches. Um, T. Harv Eker, all around mindset. Uh, uh, Deepak Chopra, based around Ayurvedic medicine. And John Gray, basing in himself in relationships. So all of these have used front-end information to help really generate a massive business on the back end. But what all of these have done is actually create their wealth behind the book, uh, behind the audio courses that you see on the front, and created real businesses with a team behind them. They've had uh, systems in place, and they've done just so much more than just simply write a book. Now, slightly to the side here, but I wanted you to have a quick look at these three role, rules. These come from um, a venture capitalist firm, and they are considered now uh, three out of the top ten, or these are the top three out of the top ten rules for e-commerce practice, and I think these are particularly poignant. So the first thing to do is look at your customer lifetime contribution. That is, what do you give to the customer? What are you providing? What kind of value are you giving to your customers? And customers are expecting more and more and more. And this is one of the great things about a kind of guru style business is the fact that you're able to deliver them massive value. You can constantly provide them uh, new content and new information all of the time. And that can be done very, very cheaply or essentially for free. And again, that then fits into rule number two. That's your goal is to provide cheap, fast, and free. People want more, and they want it quicker, and they want it cheaper than ever before. And the great news is the internet allows us to provide exactly that. And then the third rule, which is really getting into the concept of business, but that is that only lemmings focus on the last click marketing. Now, what I mean by this is that um, amateur marketers, amateur business people, are always focused on the actual front-end sale. They're trying to focus on making money from the customer now rather than looking at how they can make money from the customer later on. So, you know, they, their whole focus is to try and get that first sale and then they forget about trying to make any further sales after that. They forget about the back end. They, they're too eager to try and make money out of a customer before delivering value. And so basically what this is saying is that the rules of trading have started to change. Customers are expecting more in advance. They're expecting to, you to demonstrate your value before they hand over their money. So just think about how you're able to actually achieve that within your business. And we'll talk about some of those kind of examples later on. So just to reiterate here, but the money is rarely in the front end. It's really about the back end of the business. 
So two business models that work well. And these have been demonstrated for over 2,000 years before the internet. And they can be used by authors, by experts, by coaches and celebrities um, to make money even today. And indeed, uh, any other business really. The first is affiliate marketing. The second is information marketing. Now, affiliate marketing we may think of as being exclusive to the internet. But the truth is affiliate marketing is no more than simply being a commission-based middleman. Somebody who knows of a good product and knows how to connect that product to a targeted prospect and turn them into a customer. That's all an affiliate is, is somebody who introduces a customer to a product and takes a commission for that process. Now, the really cool thing about the internet is that this now provides us with the ability to do this in an automated way. That is, we can now leverage the power of the internet to generate massive traffic, to convert multiple people, and to have those sales tracked independently by a third-party piece of software so that we can be sure we're going to get our commissions. Information marketing, on the other hand, is nothing more than selling a product. And again, you know, in business, people have always had products, they've sold products, and there's always been somebody as a middleman in, in many of the businesses out there that uh, basically go out and find the customers for those products. So with the internet, the great news is for information marketers is that we're able to deliver information quickly, easily, automatically, and extremely cheaply. So the, the uh, return on investment, the profit margins are astronomical compared to any other form of offline business. And the fact that we've got this army of affiliates that are out there now that are then able to go out and generate the traffic for us on autopilot too. And now as an information marketer, we're then also able to add a back end by becoming an affiliate marketer ourselves and promoting other people's products to generate a back end to our business. And how does all of that look? Well, this is essentially the model of pretty much any guru that you're going to see out there. And I don't really care what uh, products they're selling. I don't really care um, what kind of uh, money-making strategies they're teaching. When they are teaching something, they are using this business model and they are making money nine times out of ten by selling you the information that they're teaching you. So how is their business structured? Well, it looks something kind of like this. Basically, uh, in many cases, they're going to have a lead capture page. That's what we call the squeeze page, where they capture their name and email address. They'll probably have an information site, uh, an authority website, perhaps used for collecting um, search engine traffic or through um, sending people from offline media to an information website to build their authority. And then they'll send the traffic to this from this information site to their lead capture page. And sometimes they'll even embed this lead capture page into their information website. They'll also use offline materials such as books, seminars, um, perhaps TV, radio, magazines, newspaper advertising, leaflets, etc. And send that traffic again to their lead capture page so that they can capture the name and email address. They're also using affiliates to generate this traffic. And again, I haven't got this on here, but perhaps social media as well. Now, once we've got the name and email address of somebody, we then store that inside of an autoresponder. Once the name has been added to an autoresponder, we can then send them a sequence of emails that go out promoting either other people's products as an affiliate, so we can make money making commissions, recommending other people's products, or we can send people to our own sales pages from the autoresponder. What we're also doing with inside of the autoresponder is building a relationship, building trust, building credibility, and delivering free information on a regular basis to really establish credibility with our new list. What we're also able to do is after somebody has completed the lead capture page, is we can then just send them straight to a sales page where we can then offer them one of our products here. After that, we then take them to a thank you page 
just to simply confirm the order or to confirm the registration to get access to uh, perhaps some free information that we offered to, to them from this lead capture page. And then finally, if we're using a membership site to deliver the content, we'll then redirect them to a members area where they can access their materials. Now, if you're a little confused by this, don't worry. Um, but this is generally the big picture here. And you can really apply it to almost any type of business. So, for example, somebody teaching property investment, maybe they have a free property investors um, seminar that they do in the evenings. Um, perhaps they have an information website providing property tips. Then they'll have a lead capture page offering the 10 top mistakes that property investors make. Um, and then they'll take them into an order, autoresponder where they drip feed, that is they deliver content over time, giving them additional resources, additional information. They may refer them to uh, perhaps real estate agents, maybe to uh, tax advisors, etc., where they then take an affiliate commission. They could then sell them to their weekend course, perhaps like a two or a three day seminar, um, or to their DVD products or um, to perhaps other services such as consultancy or coaching. And then ultimately they can send them to a members area where they deliver all of this information. They could be using affiliates, uh, other people who have lists in a similar or related industries like make money industries, etc., to send them the traffic in the first place. And all of this needs to be set up online and uses a variety of different pieces of software to make it operate. But don't worry, it's not necessarily that complicated these days compared to how it used to be several years ago. Uh, Technology has improved a lot and things are becoming much, much easier. But this is a guru related business. Now, the title of my book, Do Less Work, Make More Money. I have a feeling that for most people this is what they're really trying to achieve in the back of their mind. Um, they're trying to essentially increase their level of income while avoiding their job or being able to quit their job or simply work less hours so they have more freedom or more flexibility and more time to enjoy life. Now while we may be all looking for that, I'm always accused that the title of the book is extremely spammy, that there's somehow there must be a trick to it, that it's not real or that um, yeah, somehow I must be some kind of fraud because I came up with a title. So the question is, is this possible? Um, and I think it's an extremely valid question. Why would we all be searching for the way to do this work and make more money if it wasn't possible? So there must be a part of us that believes that it is and it, it can be done. I want to show you exactly how it's possible with a scientific formula that shows you exactly what to do in any business to achieve this reality. So the formula for success is T plus T plus T multiplied by T equals R. And that simply breaks down as training plus team plus tools multiplied by time equals results. So the better training we have, the better team we have, and the better tools we have, the less time that we require to equal the same level of result. And you can see that this is true if we break it down. You can see that, let's say for example, we take out training from this equation and we could have a really good team, we could have really good tools, but without the training, it's gonna take them more time to achieve a certain level of result. If we have the best training in the world, but we have no team, and we have a bunch of really good tools, we can still get a result, but it's gonna take us more time because we're trying to do it on our own. Now we can have training and we can have a team, but if we don't have any tools, it's gonna take us a really long time to achieve anything because tools just simply make life far more efficient. Now you can never remove time from this equation. We always need to invest some time to get some level of result. But you can see that the better training we have, the better team we have, the better tools we have, the less time that we need to equal a set level of result. Now if we want to increase our results, we can always improve the level of our training, our teams, or our tools. And of course, if we look at this equation, we can quickly see and identify as business owners, 
and I say that you know talking to anybody doing business online um, to anybody doing business offline if you are looking to improve the level of result in your business that is probably to make more money then what you're going to need to do is identify which area are you weak on are you lacking in training are you lacking in a team or are you lacking in tools because that's the area that will give you the biggest leverage if you've got a really strong team and a really strong training but you're lacking tools then by by spending some money and investing into your tools you will see the biggest level of return and this is the mistake that I see so many people time and time and time and time again making that is they've invested massively into training but they never inv invest into team or into tools or they really have a lot of tools and they have a lot of training um, sorry they have a lot of team and they have a lot of tools but they're reluctant to spend any money on training so have a look there and identify which is the area that you can get the most leverage on um, by improving in your business also I want to show you this slide now if I'm at a seminar I'll usually ask the audience um, where is this photo taken now um, I'm not sure uh, just for the sake of time I'm not going to wait for any responses here I'm going to tell you it was taken in Italy now this comes as a huge surprise most people kind of guess perhaps India or somewhere in Asia but this is actually Italy and not that long back either and what happened was that they simply didn't have the systems in place that could cope with the demand on their rubbish now what I realized when I saw this slide was that um, really this is how my business felt when I was in the early days Now, Dimitri mentioned earlier I made a lot of mistakes and uh, he couldn't have been more right I mean I made so many mistakes in the early days that it cost me years literally about four or five years of making mistakes and one of the biggest mistakes that I made was the fact that I didn't put systems into place and what that meant was that my business felt like this big pile of rubbish there was just con total congestion nothing made sense I constantly felt like I was doing battle and the real problem here of course is the fact that you can see it takes a lot more effort to repair a broken system than it does to simply predict a system and and account for it before it becomes a problem so if we can create really good systems in our business then we can avoid this kind of congestion and this pileup and that's exactly what I want to suggest that you guys do is that you look to see where you can systematize your business how you can automate your business because that is again what is going to allow you to scale and grow and again this is true of any business whether it's a guru business or an offline business online business doesn't matter the bottom line is systems increase speed and money loves speed so the better your systems the more money you're likely to make now I'm gonna look at three ways to increase your profit and this is, is um, valid again for any level any type of business but you know with the internet there are certain ways that we can do these and I'll, I'll go through those in just a moment but the first is that you need to increase the number of customers simple makes sense right the more customers you have the more profit you're likely to make increase the customer value that is increase the amount of money you can make per customer again sounds obvious but unless you have a strategy in place to actually achieve this then you're not going to likely to see a big improvement in your profits and then the third one is to simply reduce your operation costs now that comes with a warning you should reduce your operation costs but without damage to your business operations that is you know you can some people try to reduce operation costs but in doing so they reduce the quality of their business or they reduce the profits um, indirectly so you need to make sure that you reduce operation costs but in a way that doesn't affect your business so let's have a look at each of those quickly first of all increase the number of your customers now to do this online that means we want to create more forms of lead generation typical forms of lead generation online SEO that's search engine optimization trying to get found in Google or Bing social media 
using social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc., to help generate traffic. Pay-per-click advertising, affiliate traffic I mentioned earlier. Now, for me, this is the biggest one of all. Affiliate traffic is hard to beat. The reason being is that it comes with a referral and you only ever pay for actual sales. I mean, pay-per-click advertising is great and it can and it can work well, but it often takes a lot of practice before you finally start seeing a return on investment. And so for most people, they don't have the patience or the money to invest in getting that going. Social media, quick word on social media. It can generate traffic, but for me, I see social media much more as a way of building a relationship. And this especially is true for the guru business where social media becomes uh, an essential part of a guru's sort of um, strategy, shall we say. It's a way that they can build a relationship and communicate with their fans and allow them to, to be found and to create a profile for themselves and to create a network. So social media is extremely good for branding yourself, for building networks, and then once you've done that, being able to drive some traffic from it. Um, SEO, well, SEO is an awesome form of traffic if you're in a low competitive niche. Uh, however, it can be quite unstable simply because Guru, um, Google changes its mind so frequently. However, again, with any of these, you need to know how to use them, where to fit them into your plan, and when to incorporate them, because every business should be using a combination of these strategies in most cases, but it's knowing when to use them and how to use them so that you don't get lost on the way. Capture leads and follow up. That basically just simply means having a lead capture page, a, a squeeze page, and it astounds me time and time again how few people actually do this properly. And I include myself in this for the surf first several years. I, you know, I, I listened to every guru out there. I, I read every book on internet marketing. I attended every course I could. I watched every DVD set. I listened to hours and hours and hours of audio. And I thought I knew it all, but I still didn't really have a good lead capture page up there. When you have a list, when you have built a list, you can then do so much with that list you can follow up with them automatically. That automated follow-up process that can then convert those prospects into actual paying customers. It allows you to build that relationship, to deliver content for free over a period of time so that you can establish yourself as a guru, that you can establish yourself as an expert in your particular niche. And it enables you to do uh, affiliate marketing, again, by recommending other people's products on autopilot, or by sending out broadcast emails and getting quick cash injections when you need them. You're also able to increase conversions. Um, by using the internet, it gives us a, a very automated way that we can um, split test, that we can actually check what is working and what isn't working. Again, this is like marketing 101, but so few people actually do it correctly. If you're not running a test, then you don't know whether you could be increasing your results. For every 100 people that visit your website, you want to know that you're getting the maximum number of customers. Don't just assume that because you've given somebody a buy now button and told them what you're trying to sell them, that they're going to buy just because they're interested in that particular product. There are so many variables on a page that you need to be aware of that can increase the, the number of customers dramatically. In one test that I read about, just changing a bright red to a brick red increased one test by up to 50% on the conversion on that sales page. I mean, that's incredible. You think about the, the amount of money that somebody's losing simply by having the wrong color headline. Forget the number of other variables like the wording on the buy now buttons, the length of the pages, the templates chosen, the type of fonts used, etc., etc. There's so many variables that we are aware of that can influence somebody to buy or not buy. And unless you're testing them, um, it's very, very hard to know exactly what those are. And so just by becoming an authority 
um, also can help us increase our conversions. I mentioned uh, that I wrote the book, Do Less Work, Make More Money. Well, that helped me increase my conversions simply because people perceive me as being an expert. Now, just to tell you about autoresponders and the importance of email, look at this. Mobile is getting all of the credit recently. Everybody's talking about mobile this, mobile that. Mobile's return on investment, according to the Direct Marketing Association, was $10.51 for every dollar spent. Doesn't sound too bad until you compare it against email. $40.56, that's four times the amount. You can see here um, catalogs offline, $7.30, search engines, $22.24, uh, display advertising $19.72 so by leaps and bounds email is the most effective uh, return on investment as I say it doesn't mean that you don't use these other strategies but you really want to get your email marketing in line before you focus on anything else because it's the thing that will give you the biggest return on investment for your dollar and I mean we're believing in that so much now that we're actually redesigning uh, our autoresponder for our software uh, I haven't mentioned this, and I think Dimitri touched on it briefly, but we run a company that um, that has a platform for online businesses, and part of that platform includes an autoresponder, and we're really redesigning the entire autoresponder to focus on this direct response kind of strategy, and it's going to be something that you know other people have never seen before. I'm not going to touch on, I'm, you know, I won't be showing you on this presentation, but just keep an eye out for it, because really, uh, if you're not using email correctly in your business, then that's the first thing that you can do that will give you the biggest result immediately. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of passionate about that, so I hope you got that point. And, you know, the, the truth is the game has changed. You can't do today's job with yesterday's tools and still be in business to borrow tomorrow, especially on the internet. You really want to be out there looking for the best possible tools to help you because that's going to make your business so much more efficient. You can't be competing when your competition is using the latest technology and you are simply sat there uh, with a pen and paper. Um, and, you know, be realistic. If you're going to be in this game, make sure that you stay up to date with the, the best tools that are available. Now, increasing customer value. There's a lot of different ways that you can increase the customer value. That is uh, how much profit you make per customer. Using sales funnels on the internet, and this is absolutely critical to internet marketing and to the guru business in general. Anthony Robbins uh, became really successful, became extremely wealthy by doing infomercials. And if we look at the infomercial model, this is the offline version of a sales funnel. Now, I'm sure you've all seen the infomercials where people will sell a, like a, a cheap low-cost DVD um, or a cheap kitchen knife or something like that. So it's an amazing deal and you just think, well, you know, for the cost of the TV advertising, how could they possibly make any money from that kitchen knife or from that DVD? The truth is they don't. They're lucky if they even begin to break even on that front-end sale. But what they have is a team of highly trained salespeople on the phones that are ready to sell you more once you call up and order that knife or order that DVD. Now the great news for you is that the internet now makes that more affordable than ever. That same psychology, that same strategy can be used online by creating a sales funnel, by creating upsells and downsells and cross-sells and uh, basically just taking a customer that has shown they are interested in a specific niche and then offering them other related products or services while you still have their full attention. That is critical to the success of an online marketer. That is the essence of online marketing. So if you take somebody through a squeeze page or you sell them a cheap front end offer, what next? What happens next for that customer? And the answer is that they should then be presented with a second offer something that is connected and related and adds value to what they just previously bought. So now instead of making, let's say, $9.97 or $47 or whatever it is that your front-end offer is, you can now offer them something of a higher value. 
let's say $97 or $197, whatever it might be, that means that a percentage of those customers are likely to buy that upsell. And when they do, you have just increased the average customer value. So in the case of the guru business, you'll see this time and time and time again, where they will have a squeeze page where they give away a free report or a free gift or a free video, something to get you to opt in. And then they hit you with the first sale, let's say $27, something to get you to part with your cash and make an initial sale. Uh, and this may be for a, uh, an advanced members area or it could be for a, a DVD set, something like that. And then they upsell you and they say, well, look, you know, for the premium VIP area of the membership site, we're going to give you all of this extra information, these extra resources, this piece of software, whatever, whatever it may be. So they're upselling you. And then after that, if they've got their, their funnel sorted out correctly, they're going to likely to then sell you on an event or they're going to sell you on some coaching, something else. So the idea is that they're going to take a percentage of the customers that say yes to each of the offers and present them with a new offer. And it's these use of sales funnels that dramatically increase the customer value because you are taking a customer who has expressed strong interest in a particular niche and continually providing them with opportunities to expand their uh, their buying, to buy more of what they're interested in. Now, that can be done wrongly and incorrectly, of course, by just abusing the situation. But if you do it correctly, you will see a huge increase on your return on investment. That is, you're going to make more money per customer. And remember, no matter what advertising channel you're using, it's going to cost you in either time or money to get that customer into the sales funnel to begin with. So by increasing the customer value, we can massively increase the overall profits within our business. By increasing the profit margin, again, we're able to increase the value. So let's take, for example, um, a physical book. So if we're in the guru business, the chances are we're going to sell a physical book. And I do recommend that you have a physical book because it adds a lot more authority, a lot more credibility to your name. However, you can take that same physical book that, let's say, say sells for $27 as a physical book, and the profit margin on that if you're going through a publisher, you're likely to get only 10%. If you're self-publishing, maybe 50%. But if you are able to sell that same book in a digital format, your profit margin is essentially 100% now. So by reducing the delivery cost, by reducing the production cost, by essentially making it a digital product, um, you can usually, if you if you set up your sales page correctly, etc., you can even keep the same pricing points, but you're then able to get 100% profit. So now you're selling the same product for the same price, but reducing your delivery and production costs. That means you're increasing your profit margin. So again, overall increasing your business profits. And creating reoccurring billing products. This is another way of doing it inside of the guru business by having reoccurring membership sites um, or some form of services attached to your niche. So, for example, um, you know, maybe with an order, if you're in the internet marketing industry, for example, you might have an order responder that bills monthly. So, in this way, you're cre creating a reoccurring income. So, these are just different ways to increase the customer value. And again, within the information marketing business and, uh, well, in the, in the guru business, especially providing a backend by othering, offering other people's products or services. So, for example, I was just talking to somebody recently who's in the pet niche, and they've become a guru around pets. And what they're able to do is recommend other people's products or services that sell um, product to pet owners and take a commission so they don't need to worry about stocking product. They don't need to worry about doing drop shipping um, or they don't need to worry about uh, shipping products. They don't need to worry about selling their time for providing services, etc. They can get other people to do all of that, but they can take a commission by simply referring that product or service to their uh, fan base. And that's absolutely huge. That's a huge back-end revenue to your business. And it doesn't matter really what niche you're in, there's usually a way to find some form of product or service that you can back-end, promote, and do some form of deal with where you can be 
adding bottom line to your business. Um, I mentioned sales funnels earlier, so I just want to quickly show you that, you know, just for a visual reference, th this is what a sales funnel looks like. This could be your uh, squeeze page here. This could be your um, sales page, perhaps for your $27 book. Uh, this could be your upsell for your DVD course, for example, and then they would maybe have a downsell here that could be perhaps a free trial to the, the book content here if they said no to your original offer and some people will take this and again just adding additional revenue to people who may not have otherwise bought and then here we've got a, a thank you page just to deliver the various different options based on what they selected going through this this uh, basic sales funnel here and you can make these as simple or as complex as you like but again this is in essence the foundation behind any of the guru businesses out there Reducing operation costs, well there's only a few things that we can really do around this, but uh, maximizing the efficiency of your team. If you've got a team and you're paying for your team, then by providing them with better tools, by providing them with better systems, by keeping them engaged in more productive activities, you are going to reduce your overall operation cost. By using systems, and one of the best ways to systematize your business is to simply put it online because you know the internet is systems software online helps you automate so much of your business now in terms of everything from making the sale to the product delivery to the customer follow-up to the affiliate tracking everything can be automated so that your business can run on autopilot and again this can reduce massively your overall operation cost consolidate your cost don't have 15 different services when you can just be paying for one. There are now so many different services out there that try to charge you independently for what they offer and now increasingly more and more so there are services that are competing by consolidating these costs by providing multiple solutions under one simple pricing. Automation. I'm going to use this word time and time again but basically automate everything you can and online it's now possible to automate your list building, automate the customer follow-up, your product delivery, the technical setup even. You can basically set up an entire website now with a click of a button. There's nothing technical to it these days. Membership management. You don't want to be having customer support managing your members if they choose to cancel or refund. That should be automated. Project duplication. If you're scaling your business and you're trying to create a, a another copy of say a different ebook or something like that don't recreate and set up your entire project from the beginning just use a system that can actually automate the duplication process so then you're saving money uh, by not needing a team to set that up for you you can just click a button and it's automatically done so the cliched but important question here is simply are you working for your business or is your business working for you because if you're spending hours working on your business and you decide to ride your motorbike side on into the side of a car, then I can tell you, you'll find out very, very quickly that you were the one working hard on your, working for your business and your business wasn't working for you. Now, if you followed the recommendations that I've given you inside of this uh, presentation so far, then you should be able to find that you can uh, sit back and know that the business is working whether you are or not. Of course, you do need to put the effort in up front. You do need to go out and spend the time to put the teams into place, the systems into place, and to set up the software and the automation for your business. That's the work up front. But once it's done, then the autopilot takes, uh, takes or kicks in, and then you're able to simply continue to scale your business and work on it as you choose. Now, I know what I've given you so far may seem overwhelming. The truth is you won't all be able to do it on day one. Uh, that's just going to be asking too much of anybody. But what I am asking that you do is plan from day one. If you are not clear in your objective, if you're not clear in your strategy, if you're not clear in which tools that you're going to be using, then you will find very rapidly that you're going to run into the same kind of mistakes that I made early on in my business. And they were basically trying to do everything myself, um, simply not having a team, saving money 
by trying to skimp on on tools by tr buying cheap tools rather than the best tools and um, essentially uh, not putting into action the strategies that I was learning I just want to give you this quick example um, here this is uh, one of our clients um, who uses our software and they created a site called yogatutor.com just because I get told that you know everybody says that basically it's all about internet marketing just does you know, internet marketers only do internet marketing and it doesn't work in other niches this is a nice little site that was built and you can see here it's a guru based business the, U the yoga tutor is a site that is full of content full of information there is pages and pages of content in here explaining um, different aspects of yoga and yoga philosophy they've got a bunch of different resources in there and you can see here on the top right he's got a lead capture page here. he's actually giving away a free short course on yoga in exchange for their name and email address so that then he can automatically follow up with them and then try and sell them on his uh, courses and you can see here on the left hand side that he's got uh, yoga programs that he's created specifically for different um, requirements and so he then goes and sells them that information which is of course digital so it's all automatically delivered all automatically taken care of and so he's able to sit back and work on the business when he wants to knowing that when a customer buys the, the payment is handled automatically, the product delivery is handled automatically, and he's, um, this particular website relies a lot on SEO, so he's got a lot of traffic coming from um, search engine optimization. Not that he really does anything, it's just that the content is so good and he's got so much content inside of this site that the search engines naturally love him. And that's really all there is to it. If you're passionate about a subject, it's very very easy to fill up several pages of content on a website and if it's good content people will link to you and you will get traffic to that website um, of course if you want to increase that as he has done with this particular project you can then add an affiliate program to it and have other people who have related websites also send you more traffic on autopilot so this is a great little example of a of a niche website based around the, yo, uh, the guru philosophy. When you get into running a guru based business you can start expecting the unexpected. Um, this slide here you can see um, it kind of works two ways. So there's a couple of stories behind this particular slide and the first is that you can see here on the top right uh, there's myself stood on stage with a, a young Vietnamese lady. Now this is uh, her name is Mai and she approached me when I was speaking at an event so I'm a guru I'm stood there on stage I'm presenting at a an internet marketing event and so this was the first part of the unexpected she came up to me and she said to me "Wow, I really love you uh, you know your product I really love what you've got to say um, I would love to promote you in in Vietnam so I suggested to her that she maybe translate my book, Do Less Work, Make More Money, and you can see that she did that there in the left-hand side. Um, so she translated it, and I gave her permission to add her name uh, as co-author to the book. So now I've got the book, and you can see uh, by uh, here the slide, it reached the number two uh, best-selling book on the largest online bookstore in Vietnam, and the one above it is a fiction book so technically we were the number one non-fiction uh, book on this on this uh, website and uh, it got picked up and you can see here articles in a couple of uh, women's magazines and then she was able to um, basically build a huge following for herself she started leveraging the same kind of concepts that I'm teaching you here and she started building a profile for herself and within just a, sh a few short months of meeting her she went from somebody who really knew nothing and was just starting to study the industry to look if you see in the bottom right here filling a room up in Vietnam within three days um, of marketing the event she was able to get uh, over in one case over 200 people in the room simply by um, sending out a, an email to her list and posting on Facebook 
And so she's really established herself as a guru now in her own right. So um, she's now being able to speak to the top internet marketers around Vietnam. She was recognized on an airplane um, just by some other random passenger. She went to a, a meditation course, was recognized on the meditation course, sat in a cafe. Somebody recognized her in a cafe. So she was able to get this kind of um, exposure as a guru because of following these kind of strategies. Uh, for me, you see here, um, this is myself just a couple of months ago. I was invited over to China to speak to about a thousand Chinese and in front of the largest projector screen I've ever seen. Um, and this was great fun, awesome networking, great opportunity to travel. And it's all simply because of the book and um, the status of becoming an expert in a particular niche. So this is the kind of lifestyle that I really you know, encourage you all to actively seek if it's something that interests you. That you can then kind of travel around the world, go to different places, uh, enjoy the flexibility and the freedom. I've been told that wealth is not how much you make, it's how much you keep. I want to re rephrase that. I would like to say that passive income is not how much you make, it's how much you automate. And ultimately, I am more interested in them passive income because that's the part that gives us the freedom, the flexibility, the lifestyle, and the security to enjoy life. So obviously I'm getting to somewhere with all of this. And basically, you know, as part of the software um, that we've put together, which is Fusion HQ, we run um, live events and we've done well, we've actually done three events now, but the last two have been under the brand Fusion Dojo. So this year we're running Fusion Dojo 2013. And we're actually going to broadcast it live on the internet. We're going to be broadcasting it out um, around the world so that you can participate wherever you are. And we're going to include a free month access to Fusion HQ that's worth $197. We're going to give you access to Fusion Dojo restricted area. Um, that's worth $1,200. We're going to allow you to attend the live stream. That's the live event um, from Chiang Mai here in Thailand. And we're going to allow you to participate in a live launch that we're going to be running off the stage. And so that's going to be great fun. Um, we're also going to be recording the event as we did from the last event. So the last event was three days. This year we're doing seven days. It's going to be a seven day event. And so basically we're going to uh, provide the actual replays. We've already got the 2012 event replays up. We're going to have the replays from the 2013 event as well. So if you happen to be at work and you can't join in the live stream, you'll still be able to access the content. So the total value of all of that is 2894. Um, who's speaking? Well, just to give you a, a few names here, we've got Brett Thompson from Australia, copywriter, um, amazing guy, I've got to see, I mean, he's entertaining, lovely guy, amazing content. Uh, David Kavanagh, again, looking at uh, businesses, and he is an expert in um, basically bridging the offline and online world. We've got Ed um, here, who is an expert in pay-per-click advertising. Um, also based out of Australia. Tony is a, an IBM systems expert. So he actually works for IBM and he provides the systems and the processes and he'll be showing you how to systematize and process, systematize and set up processes for your business. Uh, there's me, uh, of course. Uh, Sigrid is, um, she's actually also ex-IBM, but she's an author and started her own business in the weight loss niche now. Um, we've got uh, Mitch Carson here, who's a branding expert and can also show you how to get YouTube videos ranked in a matter of minutes to hours rather than days or weeks. So awesome for picking up uh, massive traffic and also, again, using YouTube to establish yourself as a brand and as a, a niche expert building credibility and authority status. Stephen May here, this is the guy I was talking about earlier who's in the pet niche business. He's actually got a list of, uh, or a fan base, should I say, on Facebook now of over 
five point uh what's it uh, just uh, yeah over half a million five hundred and fifty thousand Facebook fans and that's climbing at a rate of 800 to 1200 per day this isn't somebody who goes out selling courses on Facebook and how to make money from Facebook this is somebody who actually does it genuine fans uh, building a real business online through Facebook so he's going to be coming out and sharing his wisdom with us and we've got Jeff Slater who's now between him and his business partner created five different businesses that are all seven to eight figures each um, and he's going to be showing us how to actually sell high ticket products how to sell uh, products from five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars and then from selling products that go for, range from a thousand to ten thousand dollars and then selling products that range from ten thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars he's actually got clients that are paying him over a hundred thousand dollars per year um, and he's going to show you how that you can do the same again by leveraging the guru business um, We've got Gaz Cooper. Don't be scared off by this guy. Uh, he's the nicest bloke you could meet, and and he's going to be showing you how to establish yourself as an authority inside of uh, forums. How to use forums. This is old school stuff, but it works better than almost any other strategy that I've seen, because forums are so niche specific. And he'll show you the right way and make sure that you don't do it the wrong way because you don't want to get kicked out you don't want to lose your authority status but you can generate great sales you can generate yourself as an authority figure um, and leverage one of the best resources out there uh, Nick Halleck here uh, for those of you who don't know Nick Nick is nothing short of a living legend I mean this guy trained with the Russians to to become the first certified Australian civilian astronaut uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. He bought his own island. He's gone diving down to the, the bow of the Titanic, one of the only, one of the few people in the world ever to dive that deep uh, to that particular location. Very, very cool guy. Um, and he's going to be coming out and showing you how to leverage books, how to get a book out there and um, really use a book to leverage yourself as an authority status. Finally, on this list here, um, I've got Elise. Now, Elise is better known as the Twitter queen. Why? Because she tweets for A-list celebrities um, on their behalf. She, I can't tell you who they are because of her contracts, but this girl alone, even for her own following, has over 450,000 fans just for her personal name. Um, she was rated as the top one of the top 100 entrepreneurs to follow on Twitter because she's so successful at building a relationship through Twitter and leveraging Twitter um, to build her business. She is so focused on Twitter that there is nobody that else can compete for her title as Twitter queen. And so she's going to be coming out again and sharing that information with us. Um, so that's going to be really, really cool. And we've got a couple of other people as well that um, I, I haven't even got room to fit in here. So it's going to be an awesome, awesome event. Um, this is where we're holding it. It's going to be at the Shangri-La Hotel. Um, this is the actual room that we're using, the auditorium there, which is just second to none. It's got limited seats. There's only 99 seats in the room. Um, so it's a, a very kind of closed event, very, very personal event, uh, especially as we're having to take up about 20 of those seats just to fit in our staff um, and the speakers that are coming. Um, I mean, just amazing place to to be and to stay. And this is uh, the last, oh sorry, actually no, this was the first event we ran down in Phuket. Um, this is the audience there. We had a great time as you can see. Um, so just a, a word from Andrew Zirkin who um, was at uh, both of our last events actually and is going to be coming to our next one again. Um, he created Social Wealth Formula, but basically he's saying, you know, the really cool thing about the Fusion Dojo conferences is that we don't just sit there. They've got people coming up with ideas and talking about success, but they've actually been building websites that actually function. And he doesn't care uh, if we ever offer another chance. If it's on the frigging moon, you need to come. That's how cool it was. Uh, so I love that quote, so I've included it here. Um, so basically, today you can get access to the online live stream of the entire event plus a bunch of other very, very cool bonuses that you've got to go and check out. We've got a, a, a members area where we've got a bunch of resources like online video training, um, the replays from the last event that we did. We've got um, 
resale right uh, uh, sorry uh, got graphics that you can use for your website and we've got um, royalty free audios that you can use in your videos that kind of stuff a heap of stuff in there well uh, worth uh, a stack of cash but if you use the coupon code if you go to this URL fusiondojo.com forward slash 2013 live and use the, the, the coupon code Dimitri197 you can get it at the discounted rate of only $197 but for those of you who can actually come out to the live event we would love to have you if you can make it out to the uh, you know Getting access to all of this stuff is really cool, but there is something way, way cooler about being there, being there in person and participating, networking. I can tell you straight away that I could never have built my business if it was not for live events. If I hadn't actually taken the time and effort out of my schedule to go and travel around the world to attend different events, my business would not exist today period. Um, that is probably one of the biggest factors that has made a huge difference um, in terms of my success. So this is what I, I was just talking to me, Dimitri about just before we managed to start this call was um, really the networking is worth like 10 times the, the price of any ticket of any event that I've ever been to um, and worth 10 times the content of any event no matter how cool that content actually is. So what are you going to get if you're able to come out? Well, we'll give you three months access to Fusion HQ. Uh, we'll give you access to the Fusion Dojo restricted area. Um, as I mentioned earlier, that's got heaps of uh, training that you can get stuck into straight away. Um, we will give you a ticket to the live event in Chiang Mai. We will give you a five-star buffet lunch every day. That's for seven days. Um, during the entire event, you'll get morning and afternoon teas, um, which also double up as networking sessions. Um, we will have a specific networking party on the sixth night of the event, um, where we're going to have a lot of fun and we'll have some drinks and nibbles, that kind of stuff, where we can um, really get to meet each other and, and just relax together, uh, which is where most of the, the real business deals usually take place. We're also, as I mentioned, going to do a live launch on stage at the event. So to participate in this, and we're going to break it down. You know, the content of the event will actually be break down this launch. So you'll get opportunity to see the front end, the back end, the, the guts in the middle. We'll pull the whole thing apart, and you'll be able to participate in the launch so that you can actually make money before you leave, um, uh, before you go home. So that's going to be really, really cool. And as I mentioned, we're going to be recording everything. So when you go home, you can go through uh, and watch this as many times as you need to. And you can also watch the um, the recordings from last year's events as well, if you wish. So that's the total value for the uh, the package that we've got here. But again, just for today only, um, we've got a special coupon deal where you can get it for 997 um, we've got a slightly different URL to go to um, for this, which is fusiondojo.com forward slash 2013. Just go to fusiondojo.com forward slash 2013, and the coupon code for this is Dimitri997. Um, so I would really love it if you guys could uh, make it out because, um, you know, there's only a handful of places at the event. It's a very, very um, sort of small, closed key affair where we will actually get to meet everybody in the audience. I, I normally get time to meet everybody, and everybody gets to uh, speak to the different speakers, which is quite rare. So, and as I said, we've got the networking evening, so you can really get to meet the speakers. You can get to meet the audience. And one thing I can say about our events that we've done previously is that the kind of quality of the people who come to them are outstanding. Because, you know, in fairness, getting to Chiang Mai takes a little bit of effort and business takes a little bit of effort so those people who just sit around and um, you know make excuses up or uh, you know just can't be bothered to try and come out uh, and, and attend these type of things you know they don't generally do as well in business as those that take the time the effort and put in the the commitment to to participating in this kind of an event so 
they are the, just the audience are so high caliber um, that it is a pleasure to do networking with them as well, um, not just the speakers. So I really highly encourage you to come out. Um, you know, I've got a, the coupon code's only valid for 24 hours, so do try and make a decision. Um, go to fusiondojo.com forward slash 2013, enter the, the coupon code there, Dimitri997, um, and you can be getting your discount seat and, and joining us in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I hear you're back on the line. Oh, thank you, Leo. Dimitri, yeah. Was... Yes, I am. Thank you, Leon. That was outstanding content. Um, I really like that model formula that you have for the online presence of the Google uh, model business. Well, guys, thank you for investing your time and joining us at tonight's webinar. Um, I would just say that it could be three uh, big reasons to either attend the live cast or to attend the live event, and those reasons are following. First of all, I'd like to second what Leon said before, if not for attending the live events, networking, meeting people, picking up the ideas, I wouldn't be in the business where I am right now, 13 years later after I've started it. So, from that point of view, it is invaluable networking opportunity. So, three reasons to go for the live event are, number one, you'll pick up the ideas, techniques, methodologies, how to improve your business, whatever it happened to be. If you don't have business, you might end up with a good idea for starting the business. Second is um, you get to network, you get to meet really cool people who, you know, could be your potential future business partners and uh, being a good context for growing your business, right? And the third one is to enjoy a beautiful location, enjoy the great food, the great scenery, you know, uh, you can coincide a little bit of holiday, I suppose, as a part of that. Um, and you have to check with your accountant, of course. I'm not a professional advisor in that area. But if you go for this event for the business reasons, uh, which should be the case, then part of the trip or the whole lot will become tax uh, deductible. Once again, check with your accountant, as I'm not a qualified advisor in that area. So. Um, yeah, well, I'm planning to be there. So let's let's wrap up for tonight. If you have any questions, please type them up. We're happy to answer them. Leon, you okay to answer our questions and hang out for another um, yeah, few minutes? Yeah, no problem at all. Sure. Okay. Well, I mean, it would be great if you just type it up because otherwise line would be very cluttered. We'll wait for another uh, minute or two. If you type in the question, um, I'll hit it up and uh, Leon can answer for you. Otherwise, um, I have to I have to say that it's Saturday night or Saturday day, depending where you are. Um, you have turned up for this event, for this webinar, and you spend one hour listening to ideas and um, new methodologies that you can use. So that's you know that's commendable. Good on you guys. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I don't see any questions. Yes, I don't see any questions, Leon. So would you <laughs> like to wrap it up? Absolutely. I think I've covered everything. Um, if you do have any questions, if there's anything that comes up, then please just uh, send it, uh, an email to support at fusionhq.com and uh, one of the girls will be happy to answer uh, any queries that you may have. Uh, Leon, just before we finish, I've got one question uh, here and the question reads, what is the best way to find software to run an internet business? <laughs> Go to fusionhq.com. You're not biased. No, I'm not biased at all. Um, honestly, the best software is very, very difficult to answer in a single sentence because it's going to depend on your specific business. And there's a lot of different businesses online. There's a lot of different business models online. And depending on how you're going to run your business will depend on which is going to be the best software. So I would suggest to answer that, what you need to do is to create a very clear plan in your business. Decide exactly what it is that your business is doing and decide what software you're going to require to automate that business. When, you, when you've done that, go out and do your research. You know, Google's a great research, uh, a research tool and will give you 
pages and pages of information. But really, come to an event like ours and you'll be able to speak to people who are doing it in real life and you can learn from their experiences. What do they use? What what problems have they had? What benefits have they had? Uh, and really, for me, that's been one of the most invaluable resources that I've had is the networks that I've made so that I can call up people that I can trust and say, what do you use for this? What do you use um, for this to solve this problem? Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks, Leon. That's a um, that's very valid comment. Really, it depends on the issue that you're trying to solve or type of business that you, you know, you're running. So, there's another question here. Um, there's a question, uh, let me just see. Does Fusion Dojo offer software or program tool to create a website? So that's another question for you. Um, okay, so the Fusion Dojo is a training event, but one of the bonuses that I mentioned is that we'll give uh, free access to Fusion HQ uh, for one month if you take the live training, uh, the live stream. If you come to the actual event, then we'll give you three months of uh, free access. And that is a complete website building tool. You can build membership websites, you can build uh, sales funnels, you can build uh, information authority websites, you can build squeeze pages, you can build your list, it's got an inbuilt autoresponder, um, provides all of the hosting that you require, etc. So it's a complete platform. Mm. Well, I would second that because uh, I own the um, access uh, to the Fusion HQ and it's a great software if you're just starting in the business and don't want to focus on technical um, things, you can use it, utilize this platform to build websites which are fully operational with selling abilities, autoresponders, etc. If you are more sophisticated, more advanced user, then you can take full advantage of Fusion HQ. Um, it is an amazing platform and it is a good reason why Leon is invited to a big forums to speak uh, and teach people how to utilize it, how to use internet in order to advance the businesses and make more sales. Is that right, Leo? Uh, absolutely. Hmm. There is another question here. We'll just take the last one because it's getting late. Uh, will you help us to choose the domain name as well? So that's the last yes. Um, actually, we have an expert on domaining um, and domain choosing. So there is definitely a lot of strategies that you need uh, or a lot of considerations that you should have when choosing a domain name. And again, it will depend on your specific project. But we have an expert coming in. Um, that's Ed that I mentioned earlier. He's coming in from Australia. And although he's, he focuses on PPC, he actually runs Australia's largest uh, information website on choosing domain names. So he's a, an absolute certified authority on the subject and we'll be doing a whole section just on that. Excellent. Thank you, Leon, for your generosity and the time on behalf of everyone on this call. Um, ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic night. I encourage you to go to the website that is on your uh, screen right now, punch in the code that you have below and so you can take advantage of uh, the special offer that Leon offering tonight. Um, and I hope to see some of you um, in Chiang Mai, beautiful location. Awesome. Thank you, Leo. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Good night, everyone. Bye for now. Cheers.